this video, I'm going to show you how to edit like Imangaji and we're going to create this really cool graph animation. I haven't done an Imangaji animation in a while and I saw this animation in his recent video and I thought I have to recreate this. Now, if you want the project file and you want to master this same style, then do join the Social Creator Club Pro. You will get access to my course with tons of deep dives. Not only that, you will learn how to get clients within 30 days and you will get access to the editing channel. There is way more, so do click the link in the description to find out more. And now let's jump into it. We're here in After Effects and let's create a new composition for 4K 25 frames per second and let's make the duration 10 seconds. Press OK. Now I'm first going to make the graph. So let's go to the pen tool. Let's set the stroke to a white color, maybe a bit like this. Press OK and make sure the fill is set to none and press OK. Now it's really simple. We just click here, we hold shift and then we'll click here. Then we'll make a straight line. Now we can open this. We can go into the contents and into the shape and into the path and into the stroke and then add some dashes. So click on the plus sign and then maybe also decrease the dash amount. I increase it a bit, maybe something like 40. And then I also want to change the stroke width. You can do that here, 24, we'll change that to 15. And maybe I set the dash to even 70. So there's a lot of room between it. Now for the other one, I'm just gonna press Command D or Control D on Windows to duplicate this. And if you still have the pen tool selected, that's perfect. Cause then we can just select this top point. We can just drag this out and let's just make sure that this is straight. Perfect. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that these fade out a bit. So let's just go to the rectangle tool and make sure the tool creates mask is selected. So we can just create a mask and this doesn't have to be special. It can just be a simple mask here. And this doesn't have to be special on this one. I want to have a mask around here and then I'm just gonna set this mask to subtract. Press F for feather and let's feather this a lot. And if I now click in the gray area here, you can see it nicely fades, which I also want. Now for the other one, we can just copy and paste this. So we have the same mask. Now we just have to go to the selection tool, double click on the mask and let's move this to the top here. Something around here, perfect. This already looks great. Now I'm just gonna go to the rounded rectangle tool. The stroke I'm gonna set to probably four pixels and the color of this, I'm gonna make it greenish, maybe like a dark green, something like this. Fill, I'm gonna make really, really dark gray, something like this, press okay. Now it's really simple. I'm just gonna drag a simple shape here and we can adjust the size and basically the position of this later on. Let's just see what this looks like. That already looks cool. I'm gonna go to my effects and presets and I'm gonna add a CC light sweep to this. Let's turn the sweep intensity to zero and then the width to maybe 200. And now we have to deselect it to just see it. So you can see we get this really nice edge glow, this nice light sweep. And that looks really clean. And we can of course already drag it below all of our other shape layers. So it's in the background. Now for the text, we can just go to the text tool and nothing too crazy. We need to have the text output here. Let's select this by hitting Command A, Control A on Windows. Let's make it full caps and let's also make this a bit smaller. Maybe something like this. Cool. And let's move it a bit to around here. Perfect. And for the other text, Command D on Mac or Control D on Windows. And let's move this and let's make sure that this is on the other side. And let's put in time. There we go. And now last one, duplicate it one more time and then double click on the text and let's change this to Iman. Perfect. And now you might wonder, where's the graph line? Where's the camera movement? Why does it still look shit? Well, now I'm gonna explain that. But first I'm gonna give you a secret technique on how to link the word Iman to the graph line. And for that, we need a graph line first. So <laughs> let's uh, go to the pen tool, make sure the fill is set to none, press okay. And the stroke, I'm gonna change the color to a bit of a lighter green, something like this, press okay. Make sure nothing is selected and then we can just draw a quick and dirty graph line. And of course, when you click, hold down your mouse to make it a bit more smooth, something like this. Maybe we have to increase the stroke a bit to around 25, let's see if that's enough. Then let's open this shape layer, go into the contents, go into the shape, go into the stroke, and then you have the taper and it's really easy. We just need to change the start length and the end length. And let's dial that maybe to around 40% and the end length also to 40%. Now let's see what that looks like. We have a cool graph. I am missing some smoothness here. Maybe I'm gonna change this a bit so there's a bit more. That looks really, really clean. Now I'm gonna go to add trim paths. 
And basically we're just gonna animate this line. So open the trim paths and then click on the end keyframe icon. And let's drag this out a bit. And then let's set this to zero. So it goes from zero to 100%, nothing special, nothing too crazy. Uh, we can of course select these keyframes, hit F9. And we can also easy ease them in the graph editor by selecting these keyframes. Of course, you can also use a plugin for this, but just doing it manually is also fine. There we go. We have a really nice and smooth, cool looking line. Now we can also enable motion blur. That's all cool. But now the word Eman. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the shape and into the path and select the path. Now we're gonna go to window and then we're gonna use the create nulls from paths script. This should be included in your After Effects. It is from Adobe itself. So it's a built-in script that's already in After Effects. So we click on that, this window opens and we just have to click on the trace path feature. This only works when you have the path selected. Basically what this will do, it will create a null object that will continuously flow over this path. Now, normally you can link objects to this. So we can go to the parent feature here. We can drag this and drag this to the null. And basically what this will do, it will basically have the same movement as the null, but this will look really, really horrible as you can see. <laughs> the first thing I'm gonna fix is the rotational value. So I'm gonna go into this null, I'm gonna go into the transform, and you can see that the position is red and the rotation is red, which means that the rotation has a expression on it. We don't want that. So I'm gonna get rid of that rotation, right? So I'm gonna open that rotation, I'm gonna click on that, and I'm gonna hit backspace and then it will be gone. Now, Eman will still, that word will still be rotated. So we have to go into the text, press R for the rotation and set this to zero. Now we just made sure that the rotational value is not on the null anymore. And the text is also not rotated anymore. So if we would play it now, it would just move with the null. And we can also already select the text, move it a bit closer to the null, for example here. And as you can see, it will move along the line. Still, it will still move all the time and that's not what we want. Now here comes the trick. If you open the effects in the null, you see this effect trace path. Open that again and we see this progress. And this basically has influence on where it is. So what we can simply just do is open the shape layer of the line. And here you can see the trim paths that we created. The only thing we have to do is link the progress to our trim paths. So basically when it's 100%, the trim paths is also at 100%. And this will make it link to each other. As you can see, it will just follow it and it will always follow it. This also means that if we change these values and we make it really smooth, we drag it out, it will still have the same movement as you can see. And I already think this looks super nice. We can add some motion blur to the text. And as you can see, you already have this really, really nice and cool movement in my opinion. Now, if you want to change the placement, you can just select the text layer and move it up. And this one influence the position because it's linked to the null. It's just looking at the null where it is. So it will always follow it. Now I can close this window and let's close all of our layers. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this shape layer uh, because I basically want another line. We can just press Command D or Control D on Windows. And then we can go into the pen tool and we can just adjust our points a bit. So they're basically a bit more lower, maybe something like this. And of course we can change the color of this to change it to maybe red or like a darker red. Now we're just missing two things. That's one, a number counter and two, a cool camera movement. Let's start with the number counter. I'm just gonna go to the effects and presets, open the animation presets. And there is actually a preset in the text folder and it's the number counters. And I'm just gonna use a normal counter. Just double click on that. And then we can just go to the properties of this. We can even change the font. For the settings, I'm gonna use pad zeros on number three. And I'm also gonna include the show group separators. Now it's already set to thousand, which is actually perfect. Let's press U on our keyboard to see our keyframes. And we already see uh, the value and now it counts down. I'm just gonna delete the last keyframe and let's set it to maybe start with 10, go to 100. Yeah, there we go, perfect. Now, of course we have to stylize this a bit, right? So let's maybe make it a bit bigger. Let's center this in the composition. Let's center this a bit, maybe here. Let's move it a bit more to the left so we can still add the word X. So I'm just gonna go to the text tool, click here and type in X. Now let's move this next to it. Nice. I'm gonna duplicate this, Command D or Control D on Windows. Let's move this below this and let's type in higher output and maybe select the word higher, make it even more bold. Let's center this a bit, something like this. Cool. Now let's add a cool camera movement. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make everything 3D. Let's change the 3D mode to classic 3D if you haven't done that yet. And I'm also gonna turn off the 3D for the word Eman just to make it appear again. Now let's go to layer new camera. 
perfect. And I'm gonna just use a one note camera. Just make sure enable depth of field is turned on and the preset maybe 50 millimeters is fine. Press okay. Now I'm gonna go to the background, which is this element. Let's press P for position. Let's move this all the way to the back somewhere around this. Hold shift to make it go quicker. Press S for scale to scale it up a bit more. So it's a bit more visible. And now what we can do is if we now would move the camera, so press P for the position, you will see that there's depth in this image. We can even open this camera, go into the camera options. And you can see here the aperture. If we drag this up by a lot, you will see that the background will be more blurry which is exactly what we want. Now for the first movement, it's actually really simple. We can just link this camera to the null object and it will move with the Eman text. However, I do have to press P for position to align the camera to the center and also to make it zoom in a bit more, something like this. And as you can see, it's now out of focus. So we need to open the camera again, go into the camera options and change the focus distance. You can also just manually set this. In my opinion, it doesn't really matter. And as you can see, it will now move with the layer and that's such a, such a cool effect. I actually want it to end up a bit better. So let's move the position maybe a bit, something like this. This looks really, really cool. Now for the next camera movement, we can just add a new camera. And the easiest way to do this, in my opinion, is to press Command Shift D to cut this layer off. Then I'm gonna unlink this layer. I'm gonna go to layer, camera settings, and change this to a two node camera, press okay. It might be a bit messed up, so let's just open this camera and then reset it. Let's change the focus distance a bit. Let's move the camera a bit, maybe make it zoom in a bit more, something like this. And as you can see, the word Eman is not 3D, so we will see this. And the easiest way to fix this is to click on the word Eman, Command Shift D or Control Shift D on Mac, and let's unlink it, press none, and let's make it 3D. Perfect. And now we can go back to our camera, press P for position, set a keyframe, just set that at the beginning and then go a bit further, maybe at the end, and then just hold shift, drag this first value to the right. And as you can see, we have this really cool movement. Now, of course we can stylize it a bit by going to layer, new adjustment layer. We can add a deep glow. We can also add a vignette to this, a CZ vignette. And we can also put this deep glow on the background layer. And then you get something like this. As you can see, it's a super cool effect. And of course you can customize it a bit to make it your own. Now, again, if you want to learn more about this style and want to see all the deep dives on Iman Gadji, then do join the Social Creator Club Pro. You will get access to my course, but you will also get access to a amazing community of editors that all want to help out. Of course, you will get access to giveaways and editing challenge, a lot, lot more. So do check that out. Of course, leave a comment of what you want to see next don't forget to subscribe and then like always thanks for all the support and see you next time bye